as we said, uh, Matthew McNulty and uh, by Robert Ems. Uh, let's just clear this up. Matthew, you play ex-husband Dave. That's right. And Robert, you play Lodger Glynn. Exactly, yeah. So, um, Matthew, we'll start with you. Give us a... We've sort of explained how it works and the premise of it, but it's one of those... It, what I enjoyed about it, it's one of those dramas where everybody's a little bit flawed and it feels like normal life. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> and, and when you listen to that sort of three-line uh, description of it, mm. it sounds heavy. It sounds like there's... I mean, there, there's a lot of, like, heavy themes involved, but it's quite fun and, uh, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's fast-paced and there's a lot of... And obviously Sheridan um, carries it really well and, and people will, will love to watch her, as, so, you know, she, she does it well. No, it's an amazing idea, you know, the invisible workforce and, and the, 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 the way, you know, she kind of... She's, she's our way into that, into that world and the way she, she kind of tries to straddle the two kind of completely opposite, opposite worlds of, of um, inside trading and her, her normal life as a cleaner trying to hold down two jobs, a single mum with a gambling addiction. So it is, it's, um, she, she's completely flawed and makes really bad decisions, but that is what <laughs> makes yeah. it such great drama. Yeah. And then the audience really follow her. And what about your character? Would you say he was flawed as well? I think everyone in it is flawed. <laughs> but, <laughs> I think you know, we all are, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> Dave, you, you meet Dave and um, Sam at the at marriage counselling and they've right. already separated. And that's because Dave's had an affair. So um, despite mm. everything that he's had to go through with the gambling, he still made a mistake himself. Um, mm. <laughs> um, I've, now, last night I got a text off Steph McGovern, who right. many of our <laughs> breakfast viewers will know. She said, I'm very good friends with Robert. Yeah. You need to ask him about how he got into acting, because it involves, she said, Steven Spielberg. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Surprise <I was>, question. <laughs> yeah, I, I, um, I suppose I was lucky enough to... I, I did War Horse, the play in the West End for, for a year, and towards the end of doing it, um, kind of disillusioned by doing sort of so many shows every week. Um, I was lucky enough that Steven Spielberg came to see me and, well, see the show and, um, and afterwards uh, sort of wanted to meet me and, and offered me a part in the film, which was a, a lovely start to kind of doing film and TV That's stuff, slightly, really. So, must be a slightly yeah. mind-blowing moment, that. It was. He, Steven he's... Spielberg wants to see you. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was completely bizarre. And, and he said, uh, you know, um, have you ever thought about working in film? Which my stupid response, because I was completely exhausted, my stupid response was, oh, no, I don't... I, I've never really thought about that before. I love doing theatre. <laughs> no, no, I love theatre, yeah. <laughs> Which, you know... Still but I, saying I, that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that was probably the, the worst thing I ever said. But, yeah. But, um, but it worked out in the end, so... Yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I'm talking about Sheridan as well, because, um, you know, she really carries the piece. <clears throat> and when you see... You know, when you know you're going to be um, acting alongside an actor like her, what's, what are your thoughts? You just, you just know that it's going to be good you know you know she's safe um, and you'll have a good time you know they enjoy it uh, yeah. she's very focused and and mm. i think like you said she she does carry it really well and she's she's got real vulnerability to her as well everyone she, whoever's worked with her says she tell me how this works she works hard how, do, how does that sort of manifest itself well she just knows when to switch on switch it on and yeah. i think she's that she's been doing it that long and she's that that professional she can just do that she can you can have a chat with her and a laugh with her and then as soon as you're in the moment you're in the moment with her you know, yeah. and, it's, mm. and she's that good. You know, mm. there's a reason why she's so popular because she is amazing. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you think, in some ways, it's, as you say, it sort of explores the themes, lots of different themes, including sin single parenting, gambling. It's kind of, in some ways, telling the stories of our time, isn't it? Yeah, I think I, I, I do think that, and I think uh, it explores, you know, zero, zero hour contracts as well. And, as, yeah, it does, and and <coughs> um, and just uh, her. Just her struggle in in sort of trying to make enough money for her kids and herself, mm. and um, and she creates yeah. a fantasy world, doesn't she? Yeah, she it? does. And I suppose yeah. that's what people do. Yeah. Um, it's got a fabulous title, which suits mm. it so well. It's called uh, "Cleaning Up." It starts tomorrow, 9 p.m. on ITV. Lovely to see you both. Thank you. Thank you, gents. Uh, we are back tomorrow.